without Anthony. Um, so yeah, we he, left off he right here. Shows up late. He does. <laughs> so we left off with the things being like, yeah, we didn't eat your friend. We were just eating the tool that the friend had on them, the radio. So here you go, hmm. Cookie, a land for you. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Kodai? Um, Kodai? Probably Kodai, I, I would assume. Kodai? Uh, but I don't know what the meaning is. Um, mm, it would be an old era. Because that is oh, Furui yeah, that and Dai for age. Okay. Uh, no, Kikai ni wa. Um, and that is... Shou something. Shoubeki? Oh, are you talking about Kikai? Oh no, uh, ko Kogata. Kogata, okay. Uh, Kogata then will... Um, and then that is... Oh my god. Yeah, Kogata. And then we have... What's that after it though? Ko? Ko en energy? Yeah, something, something, energy. Hi, cool. Oh. From Takai. Oh, ener energy. Oh, um, and that is moteiru mono. Yeah, aru. So, um, I think they're trying to say like machines from the past era um, were small sized, or rather, not small sized. <laughs> And they needed a lot more energy. That's a um, good guess. You're really confused about the demo particle, but you can delete that yeah. whole thing right here, and this is a sentence in itself. Um, yeah, so machines in the past had a lot of energy. Yeah, they do. They do have a lot of energy. That is true. And then we have Kogata Demo. Demo is Teform plus Mo, which means even. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it even says, small machines hi. add large amounts of energy. Exactly. And Anthony, next bubble for you. This is probably uh, a little comma. Is so. it the ware ware? Ware ware It does start with ware ware, and this is one sentence. It's a little and right here. Ware ware wa net. Uh, net tsuteki. Net tsuteki ni fu an te. Fuantena Butsitsu O Tori Komi Tai Tai Nai De Bun Kai Ste Yori Seiteki Na Jotai Ni Ante Saseru Oh my god, there's so much kanji. Oh. Uh, ware ware wa. Uh, ne, netsu, netsu teki ni. So with Japanese, the easiest way to start with hard sentences is figure out what is the subject, which in this case is marked by the particle wa. Then you want to look at the verb, which is torikomu. Torikomu. Yeah, okay, uh, so torikomu. Uh, I take. Wait, tori komu. Is... You're right. Tori means take. What does komu mean? Whenever we see komu, it always has inside. the same meaning. Inside, yes. It's like. Going so inside. I take inside. Tori komu. Take. Specifically, tori I komu. take inside. Bushitsu. What's bushitsu? Uh, bushitsu. I take inside the bushitsu, the materials. Hi. And what kind of materials are? Is it? Are they taken inside? For unstable in materials, Hi. they're taking unstable materials. Exactly, and they're specifically um, taken in in a thermal kind the of way, thermal. which is relatively nonsensical. But that's what it says. Basically, it's saying she's taken in like the thermal energy. I would assume something of the sort. Uh, so they I do see. that, and what do they do with this thermal energy? They're taking into their body from this unstable material. They are. Hi. Hi. Bunkai. Tainai de. Tainai. It's interior of the body. Bunkai. Bunkai steyori. Hi. So you want to always locate a verb and then go backwards. 
Okay, uh, so it's Antes Fuante Stabil Fuante Saseru Saseru is the verb um, So it means to cause the the cause the um, instability so we I I am causing the instability uh, static static which one is instability so it's causing the instability by by disassembling the interior that's a good Static. guess however <laughs> as you see we are, this is marked with the particle de de has two meanings it is either a a location or b a tool tool is the most common reason why we use de in japanese so um tainai de Bunkaiste means using our our body, like your digestive system, basically. We are able to decompose things. However, we have yori here. Yori is part of the sentence saying, rather than saying that we are decomposing inside of our body, it's more that we're stabilizing our static... Uh, sounds like state of being. <laughs> What's a good word for jotai? Because current status is not the situation. So apparently, by eating up this thermal this thermal energy by incorporating to their body, they're able to um, stabilize their bodies, rather than saying they're like eating it like human beings eat things. Um, next bubble is for cookie. Okay. Um, and then that's same no nagai. Whoa, that's a very weird way of writing. Long. It means a okay. n eternity. Oh, okay, an eternity, literally. Okay, nagai, and then that is itonami, itonami, o o wa. No, o o wa ete. Um. Futatabi Nemuri ni Tsukudaro. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, you start with Toki. Yeah, that's a when, Hi. or the time when uh, this processing um, ended. Hi, and so it's like when this happened. Um, we had the we had um the earth um the earth's long life activity like finished once more so and fell asleep. You connected once more and this together, which you kinda could, but there is a little bit of an and here. So it finished and yeah. once more um, it goes asleep. Probably. Got all. Yeah. So in this case, it means when, right? When the process yeah. is finished um, and um, Earth, the living creature, the activity of the living creatures that have been occurring for such an eternity on Earth has um, finished, then it will probably. Um, Fall asleep. Then it says, Sono toki, ware ware mo neru. At that time, we will also sleep. So the earth yeah. sleeps and we sleep um, when there's no more living things on earth, basically. Beautiful. <laughs> Next little bubble is for Anthony. Kono, kono toshi. You're right, toshi. It's toshi. It is toshi. Kono toshi de. Kono toshi de no seikatsu se. Seikatsu. Seikatsu, right? Hi. Is it? Is it? Oh, okay. No, Seikatsu wa hotondo oeta kono toshi de. De no, kono toshi de no uh, Seikatsu wa 
as for the, the life on this um, on this city it's actually reaching it's nearly finished yep um, next bubble is for cookie okay so we have Kono uh, Toshi ni wa mo hito wa nai no? Oh yeah? You went too far. Oh, oh yeah, wait. Got oh yeah, got the Toshi wa yukuri to, ma yukuri to, um, teshi, yeah, teshi te yuku daro. Um, yuku is so, probably um, an old way to say yuku. Hmm. So, in the end, um, the city will slowly, um, will slowly cease to function or to right. run or whatever. Yeah. Might be Yuku to mean to die, which is funny, because that's also Yuku. <laughs> to die, uh, yeah. to run toward. See, yeah, perfect. At the end, the, the, the city will fully cease. Koromachi wa mo hito wa inai no? There's no more there's no more people in the city. And um this is one sentence with a little but. So um Anthony, your turn. Okay. Uh ah, ware ware wa sai jōsō sai 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 jōsō igai hotondo no Basho o Basho Kansoku Site Iruga Genzai Ikite Iru Ningen wa Kimitachi Futari Sika Siranai. Ah, okay, so it's saying like um, uh, we, we are the highest level. That's a good We're guess. on the highest level. Let's just go ignore the Saijo um so igai part and translate it as it is. I'll explain that part okay. for you. Okay. Uh, we we are um, nearly tondo no basho. Where we're at the place where we're at the nearby place where Wait, what does Kansoku mean? Observing, well, so, so, so. observing, yes, there, there, where, where at the place where, where we're observing, but, um, but right now there are Ningen, there, there are two more, there are two Ningen that we. We don't know anything about. Good idea. Um, <laughs> definitely a little like I could see where your confusion comes from. Um, there's some complex grammar in here. Uh, this one right here, I think you just were confused with the vocabulary and just totally ignored the particle here. <laughs> we got an uh, O oh, okay. here, not a ni oh. or a de. <laughs> this is not our location. It says uh, we have observed locations, and hotondo means most locations. So uh, we have observed most locations. However, we shiranai. We do not know, except for Shika is a very hard grammar for everybody, um, which is really funny because you can literally translate it. You don't know anything except for two people, which are Kimitachi, you two, which are you, yeah. you guys. These you guys are specifically ningen. They are human beings. That are sonzai ikiteru, that are current, sorry, genzai ikiteru, which are currently alive. So, in other words, we only know of you two human beings that are currently alive of the locations that we are observing, which is most locations. Specifically, most oh. locations that are igai of the most top layer. Igai. Oh. E is a very common kanji, which is about describing some kind of limit. And the next kanji tells you where Outside. is the box. So igai 
means we're putting a box around everything outside of the um, outward, most top layer. So it's a lot like yeah. Shika. So it means they do not know what's going on on the top layer, but all the layers underneath it, the only human beings as far as they know exist are these two, and they have a pretty thorough um, understanding of what's going on with the human beings here. They hotondo. They mostly know. There could be some hidden, um, but there's, they're pretty sure that there's none, basically. And she's like, what? What happened to Kanazawa and <laughs> Airplane Girl? They, they shinjata? Um... Next bubble is for Cookie. Okay. Uh, we have a. Uh, mm. Yotai. Have we seen that? We did. Yeah, it meant a young life form. Okay, Yotai or. Um, I think that is. It's like, thank you for sending us um, this young form here. Hi, how does Todokeru different than Okuru? I think okuru is to receive, todoku is to send. Ah, uh, no. Okuru is to send something in the mail. Todoru, todoru is to send something specifically by physically bringing it to a location. So a lot of times it can be oh, used to enough. mean to arrive as well. So here it is to give them their children, the, their young life form. But specifically it's to not just say bye bye child and have them send them off. That would be okuru. And said that they brought the child with them. So Tozoku has yes, it very much. So, so if we're looking for a direct translation, loosely, Okuru will be to send, like send something through the mail or yes. an email or whatever. And then, yeah, as the, spread, as the spreadsheet says, um, Todokeru is to deliver. Yeah. yeah, or to bring or anything like that. It also means to arrive. Well, specifically, um, mm. not Keru, because Keru has an O, so it sends you doing the action, but that kanji means like arriving. Like you have to go to a location in order to get something. Um, yeah. Next bubble, Anthony. Okay, what does it do? Oh, okay. Well, let's Mare. Get... It's a noun. Ma Mare? Mude, sorry. Mure. Sorry, sorry. Mure. Mare is rare and Mude is, is flock there. Similar. This is Mare. Uh, Mude is flock. Um, so I we're moving by way of uh, we need to move as a group as a flock. Hi, exactly. Yep, it is needed for us to change to move, like you said, as a flock. Perfect. Good job noticing the dead particle. Oyo, my. Which is, oh, why are, is Nuku so frightened? And then they're like making little noises that they're like, beep, 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 beep. Oh my, ii na, nakuma ga takusan ite. Sayonara. So basically, Nuku was like, no, I want to stay with my friends. And then like, and then the blonde hair kitcher says, you know, it's fine, dude. Um, you have a lot of comrades, a lot of fellows. And then um, Nuku says goodbye. And then the other character says bye bye, which is also bye. And then it says, um, Tobu no ka, which is they can fly. And the little alien thingies, the Nukus, are flying up in the sky. And this bubble right here will go to Cookie. Meh, chi chan. Um, and then I use, um, Chikyu. Tochu, yeah, Tochu Owaru. Chi, chi, chi. For Earth. Wait. Chikyu. Chikyu, okay. Uh, Chikyu Owaru in that bit. So it's like, um, hey, Chi Chan, um, they're like, they're like coming off the ground. Oh, where'd that come from? Not a single <laughs> book up right there. I don't know what it means. What does Owaru mean? Owaru. Yeah, to end. It does mean to end. <laughs> and Chikyu, you're right, Chi does mean ground. Q though means round. So the round ground is Earth. What do you think is ending? 
No, I'm not sure. The world is ending. The earth is ending. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, fair enough. Hi. Kichan, Kyuga, Warunda. Kichan, the world's gonna end. Because Waru is future tense. Um, and then Tet. Do you know why your Tet is here? We've seen this before, but. Yes, we have. Hi. Do you remember? I need to see it more. Um, so Tet is a shortening of To. And a lot of times it can also be a shortening of To iu or To iu koto. Here it's basically a, shor a shortening of toite, right? To mean um, said. And it's used at the end of sentences to quote something someone else has said. So this is saying, Tichan, they just said the world's gonna end, would be how I would oh, translate enough. this. And then, mm, yeah, ma, do demo i koto daro, which is, um, it's something that doesn't really have anything to do with us, basically. Like, who cares? We're going to end. Not like that has anything to do with me. <laughs> Nani, betsuni, which is, um, why are you laughing, basically? Like, what's up? And the kid says, eh, nothing. So, next bubble goes to Anthony. Okay, um, so, dakara. Kanashige nandane. Oh, wait, uh, is it the corner? Yeah, we didn't read the one in the corner. あ、この。この歌声あいつらのこの歌声あいつらのものだったんだね。あ。この歌声あいつら。And that thing is theirs. Hi. What's their thing? What's their thing? What's their thing? Perfect. That done. Yeah, that that was past tense. Um, yeah. Nda is just, you know, realizing information, right. basically. Dagana kanashige nanda. That's why it gives off sad vibes. Owari no uta dakara. Because it is a song of endings. So kamone. That might be true. Um. Who wants to try reading that? I will. Um, oh okay, we have um, Kaiyo, Kaiyo Odanchu. It's like we're crossing the ocean. Yep, crossing the ocean. Mm. Perfect. And we have finished volume four, which is where the anime ends. And oh you can see, it looks like they had um, Tito no, this is Chi's um, Niki, right, her diary, where, um, oh. yeah, I, I wouldn't want to read this, like, Kyo, that's today, uh, I don't know what that's saying, Moshi, <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, don't, be very hard to read. Um, yeah, it feels yeah. awkward. It's a little horizontal. Um, I think it's also supposed to be like specifically hard to read. Like I think it's not all this is like like I think she's writing in katakana maybe. Like that or um, you know, it's just um handwriting from an era long gone. It's like when old establishments have uh, ceased to exist. That that's so is nobody actually kind controls of how you write. Uh, nobody that, actually that's controls the point how for you this. write. Yeah. Um, like this writing up here, definitely much more easier to read. Like I have no idea what this T is doing in here. I think that's the E. There, well, there's E's right next to it. There's E T E, but E though is Yo, right? Yo, Japanese. Mm. I guess it's backwards. Um. What's the Mo? Oh, it could be a multi little bit. More. Yeah, you're right. That could be a mole. Could be a handwritten mole. Tito. Let's go. Who knows? Anyway, uh, we're just we're ed we're done for the day because you know five minutes left. Just kind of fun. Look at the picture. Thank you, money. Yeah, we'll be seeing you guys next week with the next volume. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.